Hello everyone, in this tutorial I will explain step by step how we can create a soil map and classify a soil for a specific location within a country. In first step, I downloaded global soil data. Then I prepared a soil map for a country. And within a country, I have this study area and I want to know what is the type of soil and classify it. Then that's the soil and then according to these numbers I can and I have ability to classify the type of a soil. Finally, I created a soil map for a specific location or for my study area and I classified it. At the end of this tutorial, you will learn to create a soil map and classify it for a specific location. Let's start. First, we have to search for a soil map, FAO. Okay, this one, I also put the uh, link in the description of the video. Then digital soil map. Scroll down. Digital soil map of the world. More. Then we have different data. But we need to, uh, we need digital soil map of the world S3 shape file format. This one, download this one. Download. Okay. DSMWZ, uh, DSMWZip. Copy. Open show in folder. Cat. And also specify a specific folder for this data. For example, I new folder. study for study area okay paste and extract here now i have a global soil data okay then open the rgis okay from here okay from here add data and uh, connect the folder from here you can connect the folder go to desktop and soil map for city area okay directly it connect uh, to the gis open this uh, shape file add okay you see that is the global soil data then right click open attribute table we have uh, countries so i want to select uh, i want to extract soil data for iraq for example it depends on you i select it for iraq from here this one from this icon from here you can select to the country double click equal this one equal then get unique values here you can select the country for me, Iraq. Okay. Apply. You see, it's selected. Just apply. Close. Now, you can select it. Right click. Data. Export data. You, uh, where you want to uh, save this data create soil map for study area desktop yes this one that's my file I name it Iraq save okay do you want to add the exported data to the map as a layer yes now you can delete this one you can uncheck the global or you can also you can remove you don't need this one anymore remove it and you can also zoom to layer 
Now I have the soil data for my country, but here to be clear, right click, properties, symbology, category, from category, you can select, we have different uh, options, select S number, uncheck this one and add all values, okay. That is a soil, the types of soil for Iraq country, you see this number, I want to show you how we can uh, find the type of soil according to this number. If we want to find a soil type of soil or classify the type of soil for a specific location in this country, how we do it? Let's do it. From here, write Diva GIS shape file. Download data by country. Here, I need Iraq. Search for Iraq, administrative area, yes. Okay, download. Iraq administration, show in folder, copy or cut, create a new file, new folder, Iraq, shape file, okay, and Paste here, extract file to here, yes. Now I have this data. Okay, go to ArcGIS, add data. First, we have to connect the, data, the file to the GIS, desktop, Iraq shape file, open, select all. Select all except this one. Don't uh, select this one. Add. Okay. We can uh, select Iraq by the city. You see, this one shows the cities of the Iraq. If we uncheck this one, let first uncheck this one. This shows the shape file for the city. This one for a governorate, each governorate. And this is for Iraq all. I want, for example, my study area, this governorate, this location. So, first I select this one. Select it. Select it by, select it by rectangle. Okay, this one. Okay. Now I want to extract this uh, location or study area from this the country of Iraq. Then, from job processing, clip, input feature, input feature, Iraq administration, one, clip feature, Iraq administration, uh, and the output uh, location, select it, Iraq, for example, Arbil, shape file, save. Okay, you see, we created it. So, we don't need this one, we don't need this one, only we need this one also. Okay, now change the property of this one. Uh, properties, make it hollow, hollow, okay. Now, from geoprocessing, clip, input feature, input feature, this one, clip feature, this one, and output, select the location for output, Iraq shape file, let be here, or
yes this one soil map for study area soil map arbil save okay yes now i can uncheck this one we have only this uh, you can also remove it remove this one also we don't need any more and more okay then soil map for our bill properties symbology category select it and check this one and here select s number add all values here you can uh, change the color for example i prefer let be this one so good apply okay that is the soil but let zoom the layer yes you see now i have these numbers according to this number we can classify the type of a soil for our study area let us classify first i have a file uh, download this swat 2012 i put this file in a description you can get it easily open it okay here search for soil user soil okay this according to the number for seqn extend this one according to this column the number for this column we can classify as our soil type be careful not this one column this column okay let us see the type of soil we have uh, the number is 3108 search for this number select the column search for it find 3108 find next you see this one loom loom our texture is loom but if you notice you see we have different loom many loomers but the texture for uh, the chi factor is different the texture for clay silt sand rock in a different percentage that's why we have a different loam okay our clay is loam now you can come back to your arcgis call it loam and for 3109 for example 3300 3300 come back to the file find uh, but 3300 find okay first make sure according to this seqn num column 3300 texture clay loom clay loom also we have different uh, many clay looms but the texture or the person the texture or the percentage of the mixing is different clay is 35 here silt 39 but this one another percentage that's why we have a different clay bloom so you can come back to arcgis 3300 clay loom okay and so on in this way you can classify your soil or your study area okay then if we want to want to make a layout from for study area okay then insert notice a row okay okay then insert uh, legend next then next 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 finish okay properties 
title the title soil texture you can change the title better not uh, you can remove soil map r build s number you can delete it soil texture that's all i hope it can be helpful have a nice time